Okay, so this is going to be a um, the first in a series of uh, revision videos for your trigonometry test. Uh, I'm probably going to get them all done today, so I'll put them out in order. Don't forget to check out this Moore's one around uh, two triangle problems. Um, this one I'm going to start off with, uh, I've put out uh, a little flow chart, so a little mind map about how I actually think about these particular questions. Uh, and here's our first one. So our first lesson is going to be about finding sides when the letter is on top. And when I get into this question a little bit more, I'll show you what I mean about that particular thing. So if we have a look here, the first thing that I always do when doing a trigonometry problem is I've got to work out the correct sides. Uh, now to do that, I generally put my marker pen or my pencil in the right angle. I draw a line across and that will always lead me to my hypotenuse. And then I do the same thing. I put it a thing, draw through the angle, put my pen there, and that'll give me the opposite side, and that means the last one there is the adjacent side. So, yep, yeah, I've managed to do that. I've worked out my sides correctly. And the second one is we've got to pick which ratio we're going to use. Now, remembering that sine of our angle is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, cos of our angle is adjacent over the hypotenuse and tan of our angle is of course opposite over adjacent. Now what I like to do so I don't get confused is I put a little angle sign next to my angle. So there's my little angle sign there. And then I circle the sides in which I have either a number or a letter value for. Yeah, and this one you can see that I'm actually going to cross out the adjacent side because I'm not using it. And that uh, makes it pretty easy for me to pick this ratio because this one has the adjacent in it. So I'm definitely not going to be using that one. And this one also has the adjacent on the bottom here. So I'm not going to be able to use that one. So the ratio that I've got to use in this particular question is, of course, sine. Now, remembering whenever I do these, I always write out my little sine formula first because, of course, um, I want to try and remember it. And one of the best ways to remember things is to write things down a lot. So, if I look at this, I can now put everything where it's supposed to go in this formula. So, I've got 30 degrees, so I'm going to write sine of 30 degrees, and that's why I put that angle there. And then my opposite side is x, remembering that my opposite goes on top. And then on the bottom, uh, I'm going to put this 20 degrees. And this is what I mean by finding sides when the letter is on top. The letter on top is here. So... I've picked the ratio and I've filled in the formula and now I've just got to go to this step adjust. And this is probably where uh, in trigonometry most of our work is, mathematically anyway. So remembering that this line of course means divide. So I've got x divided by 20, so I need to do the opposite of that. So I'm actually going to times by 20. Now this comes back to our linear unit that we were doing before. And of course if I divide by 20 and then times by 20, I technically don't do anything to that particular um, to x so I can cancel them out and that's going to leave me with x on this side of the equation Of course if I times by 20 there, I need to times by 20 on this side. So uh, Now to solve this um, I need a calculator. So here we go Hopefully this one works. No, it doesn't. I'll just grab one So the first thing that I'm doing when I'm actually using my calculator, and oh, oh, there we go, hang on. There we go. The first thing I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see that because of the light, I'm just checking out the top here to see that it's DEG, because I need it to be in degrees, not radians. And then, of course, if I pop it down here um, and cover up the question I'm actually trying to do, this is going to be 20 times sine 30. So 20 times, now press sine, and then 30. And my answer comes up to be 10. So I now know that that side here was 10. So that's how you do it when you've got a letter on top. Um, you're basically timesing through by the value of your hypotenuse on both sides to find your answer. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Enjoy.